Welcome to the Joomla Ecstasy Socializer Wall tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go over the Joomla Ecstasy Socializer Wall. And so let's take a look at the module demos. Uh, we're here on our demo site for Joomla 2.5. So we're going to go here to our module demos and the Socializer Wall. And in this demo right here, we're showing you all the icons. We have 88 different icons for you ranging from Facebook, Google+, SoundCloud, Twitter, YouTube, web links, eBay, WordPress, Drupal, but what's missing? Oh, Joomla. Now uh, we look forward to adding that soon, but you have Pinterest and many other ones here. And so here's the icon round default, and here's the icon circle. We've given you three different defaults that you can use. Um, but if you want to do something different, you can always use these icons here and wrap them in a div and change it to where if you want it to be an octagon or a square, you know, you can give it a background color and everything. So let's go ahead and check out the second demo. And here what we're doing is we have two different areas in the module. You have your main area, and this is the main area, and then down here is your more area. So let's say that you want to focus on Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And you could have four up here and the rest of them down here, or it gives you the opportunity to do any kind of layout that you want to do with main area and more area. So in the third demo here, showing you just a basic list style of this. The fourth demo, another list style with a hover effect. And this is in three columns and three rows so you could have all these in one row if you wanted and demo five this is a really nice option here basically what it is is a CSS3 drop-down so follow us click here and then it reveals your icons that you want in here and we have it gridded out here now in demo six we have a nice little tooltip and as you see the text actually flies up with inside the tooltip um, and we use the rounded corner icons. And in demo seven, we've got the spinning icons. Demo eight, we have the shaking icons. Demo nine, we have the pulse effect. Demo 10, nice CSS3 transition here. Demo 11, CSS3 flipping, and Demo 12, a cool hover effect in panels. As you see, this would be like a really nice one to put at the bottom of your website if you want to have some really big icons or maybe a whole page where you have your social network. And this is the all tags demo. The all tags demo shows you all the template tags. So basically you have your main area, you have a more area, you have your left button, your right button, how many pages you want to have. So if you wanted to basically have it scroll left and right, you could do that. Um, and your element tags, you've got the tag name. So for Amazon, it would be Amazon. And this is the alias, the title, and the URL that you specify, and the icon, and the index number. So all these demos are included with the module. So if you like one of these, you can go ahead and use one of them, uh, customize it as you like, or you can create your own. So let's take a look at the back end of Joomla here and at the module. And here we are with the socializer wall. So as you see, we have the basic options here with the different social networks. So you put in your link to your social network. For this demo, we're just using our home page. Um, the position. This is for if you're doing, say, a grid of them and you have a 4x4 four four grid, which one do you want to show first? Because in some cases you might want Facebook to be your first option, so we allow you to put the position here. The location is the main area or the more area. Like I showed you in the second demo, you have two different areas. So if you want to specify that, you know, 500px is 1, about me is two, Amazon's three, AOL's four, all in the main area, and then you want everything else to go in order in the more area, you can do it just like that. So as you see, we have 88 different links here for you. Groove Shark, 
iMessage, iTunes, just about everything you'll need from social networking to linking to your different products and stuff. So let's go down here and look at the display parameters. So this is gridded out so you can have columns and rows and pages. Pages are if you want to have more than one page and use a uh, transition for it. So the window width really doesn't matter unless you're using the zoom window or the draggable window. And then the transition pause, this is for the transition when you have more than one page and the duration, the slide orientation, you can go top to bottom, left to right, bottom top, the transition type, and then your button styles here. Um, we've included quite a few button styles as you can see here, and it should suit any website that you're building. So if you want to use buttons on it to go from one page to another, you just select one of these and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and close this window and see here we have our templates. So we have all of our demo templates in here for you to use. And so right now we're on demo one. So, you know, if we switch to demo 10 here, it's going to give you the opportunity to load it. The template is actually inside of the module in the files on your server. But if you don't feel like going in and editing the markup right inside of the templates, you can load them right here. So all you have to do is click the load, demo 10, and all of it pops up here. So as you see, we're using this UL class for the main area. This is what builds the area that the icons are in. And then down here, we're using LI classes and our code. And you see we're using some divs here, but basically all you really need to do is just give it an ahref and use the URL tag that calls the URL, excuse me, the icon, icon calls the icon, title calls the title. And then down here we have our icon type, regular, circle, or rounded, and then your icon size. You can use pixels or EMs in there. And here we have the more area configuration. You can figure that just like you do here. So let's go up here to say demo number two. Let me show you something interesting here. Now you see what we did here in this demo, in demo number two, let's go back and take a look at that, is we colored the icons. So you can easily color the icons with a simple little way that we did it here. We gave the A class alias. Alias spits out the name of the social networking. And inside the CSS file, we actually have CSS classes for every single icon, the 88 of them. So let's go over here and check out the advanced options. And scroll up. So as you see here, here's your custom CSS. So we have it right here in here for you. And just note that we put Facebook color important. So you just add your different colors to these classes and then you can color the icons. And then the rest here is the JavaScript settings, the tooltip, the pop-up FX settings, and the slide FX settings, um, hover color change, and your basic module settings. So as you see, we spent a lot of time thinking about how we could make this user-friendly as well give you every option that you don't have with other social networking modules. So I hope you enjoy this module and this tutorial, and we'll see you next time.